Hello everybody, and welcome to HodgePodge Woodworks. In today's video, I'll be turning a Turner Select Deluxe Salt and Pepper Mill Kit from Craft Supply. I'll be using this beautiful rosewood blank on the left to turn the pepper mill, and I'll be using the American Cherry blank on the right to turn the salt mill. I start off here by marking the centers of both blanks with a pencil, and then I use a punch to put an indention in the center. When I decided to turn these two pieces, I started with the cherry because it's been a while since I've turned a pepper mill and I didn't want to mess up on the more exotic wood. However, while putting together this video, I decided to put the rosewood blank first, but the cherry grinder will be at the end of this video as well. Of course, the first step here is just to turn the blank around. I'm now marking where there will be tenons and the high and low diameters of the pepper mill. As you can see I'm holding up my cherry mill blank to just get an idea to so make a fairly close to identical pepper mill blank. I'll be adding three tenons that can fit in my chuck, one at each end and one at the top of the body of the pepper mill. When using the calipers to measure the piece while it's moving, you need to make sure to round over the tips of the calipers so that it doesn't dig into the wood, otherwise you might uh, lose control of them and they might fly across the shop. I'd like to apologize for the camera quality. I'm using a Sony Handycam that's about 10 years old for the first portion of this video, and while I was editing I noticed that it seemed to be a little glitchy. Here I'm using a 1 and 5 8 Forstner bit to drill a 3 quarters inch deep hole in the bottom of the pepper mill body. Then I switch out the bits to a 1 and 1 16 Forstner bit and drill as far as I can. I then reverse mount the body and drill through to complete the hole. Next I mount the head of the pepper mill and drill a 9 30 seconds hole through the entire piece. This part I forgot to record. Here I'm trying to fit the hole in the body to the tenon on the head of the pepper mill. Luckily, with the power of editing, I got this right the first time. I mount the body and head piece, and now I'll be turning it to shape. Again, I apologize for the camera quality.
I sand through the grits, I believe, starting at 120 and going all the way to 400. I'll save you guys all the entertainment of that process. For the finishing process, I started with two coats of sanding sealer and then used Axe Abrasive Sanding Paste. I have a coupon code in the description below if you'd like 10% off your order. I'm now applying Axe Polishing Paste. Finishing off the pepper mill with four coats of Obi Shine Juice, which is equal parts of denatured alcohol, boiled linseed oil, and shellac. Keeps me up at night I can't help but think back to you I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize I replay the memory of you The rest of the video is the salt mill that I turned sped up by six times the original speed.
haven't changed Life took us far apart But it never took away my heart Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard You know I wanted to stay Caught us off guard But there was no other way Did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days And I'm calling up to say I'm coming home to you Yeah. 
I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching, and if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Thanks, and see you around.